What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So even though it's been years now since any flagship or higher end smartphone has had a headphone jack, a ton of people still seem to miss it. In fact, I see comments all the time from folks who end up buying a budget device, like a low tier Samsung A series phone, for example, because it still has a headphone jack. I guess not everyone wants to also fork over a ton of money for wireless earbuds that don't really last that long, don't always sound as good, and that easily go missing or break. Now, fun fact, you can plug a wired pair of earbuds into the USB-C charging port. For about a year, phones came with USB-C earbuds in the box, and nowadays there are a lot of great USB-C earbuds out there. I realize it kind of takes away the charging element for the moment, but a wireless Qi charger sort of fixes that. And I feel like lately I've actually seen a bunch of people out and about using wired earbuds again. Wired earbuds might legitimately be back. And if you want to hop on that train too, these new buds from Hybee are a great option. These are the brand new Hybee Digital Xeno. And they're not just any old pair of wired USB-C earphones. These are in-ear monitors or IEMs with some very interesting new audio technology intended to, in Hybee's own words, explore the unnoticed details. Now, these are launching next month through a crowdfunding campaign first, but Hybee was kind enough to send me a pair early and also sponsor this video. Side note, these are an early pre-production pair, so you might see some little burrs or plastic bits. The final product of these will of course be much more polished as they finalize that manufacturing process. But I have to say, it's been a long time since I used a wired pair of earbuds, especially ones that sound this good, but I really missed a lot of the perks that come with that. If you want to learn more about them or be notified when their crowdfunding campaign goes live, click the link in the video description below. They'll offer some great perks and early bird pricing for these. They should be under $100, so don't miss out because that's a seriously good price. At first glance, the Hypey Digital Xeno IEMs kind of sort of look like your average everyday earphones, but their higher end construction, built-in inline controller, and long list of sound focused tech specs mean that these buds are aimed at even the pickiest of audiophiles. From a design standpoint, the Xenos combine the best elements of that around the ear IEM fit with a straightforward, replaceable rubber ear tip. Not only are they snug and secure, but they're comfortable. The bit that sits behind your ear is slim and flexible. You get three sizes of ear tips to change out too, so you really should be able to find the perfect fit with these, and I've had zero issues with them staying in my ear. The buds themselves, and this probably sounds odd, but they're normal earbud sized in the sense that they aren't gargantuan orbs that stick out the side of your head or fill out your whole entire ear like you would see musicians wear. They look and feel like everyday earphones, and I think that's essential. But don't let the compact form factor and familiar design fool you, there's a lot to these. The Xenos utilize a dual speaker architecture with a hybrid combination of Cal by XMEMS, an all silicon solid state micro electromechanical system driver, one of the newest and most compact drivers available right now, and Hybee's own exclusive graphene dynamic driver. These elements alone produce exceptionally high detail for whatever you're listening to, especially with high fidelity audio tracks and incredibly low latency. Obviously far lower than any Bluetooth buds for sure, but better than most other wired earbuds too. Why is that important? Well, aside from the obvious annoyances of mismatched audio and video or awkward sound effect lag from your smartphone, low latency is super important when gaming. So if you connect these up to your Nintendo Switch, for example, you're gonna get a near perfect audio experience. But the hybrid driver system inside these buds is just part of the story. The Xenos also incorporate a dual DAC and dual amplifier HD digital audio system, two different hi-fi grade DAC chips, for each driver to utilize independently. That's one part of that inline button panel you see there. And with this built-in DAC, not only can you listen to the crispiest of audio formats from the likes of Tidal, but you can also listen to your own locally stored hi-fi audio files through Hybee's music app via USB exclusive mode. The Hybee music app is really geared towards lossless audio listening and Tidal is actually incorporated within the app itself. But if you plug these earphones into a different device, like an iPhone or a Nintendo Switch, like I mentioned earlier, or even want to use some other random music app, you're still going to hear 
hear some great audio thanks to Hybe's proprietary hardware. From the Hybe Music app, you also gain full in-depth EQ adjustments for the Xenos, as well as MSEB or the Magic 8-Ball tweaks. There's also parametric EQ support in the app. And what's really incredible is that not only does Hybe offer a PC version of their PEQ adjustments as well, but any PEQ adjustments you make will be saved to the earphones and brought over to a new device you plug into. Your latest tuning adjustments are saved to the buds. As far as their overall sound quality, it's important to keep in mind that these are first and foremost in-ear monitors. So their default sound profile is intended to be highly detailed, well-balanced, and perhaps a bit more vibrant than the booming, bumping buds a lot of people might be used to. These earphones really do deliver that smooth, crisp sound that encapsulates all the music elements, from instruments to voice to the subtle sound effects that sometimes get lost. I think these earphones elevate the vocals of most music more than anything else though, and obviously, if you're after a particular sound profile or listening style, there are endless adjustments you can make to get exactly what you like. What I personally like is that balanced, more neutral sound, which is exactly what these deliver. They aren't harsh, the sound isn't exaggerated in any way, they probably border more on the pleasant side of the sound profile as opposed to intense, thumpy, or over the top. They really offer such an enjoyable, neutral listening experience that's best highlighted by the hi-fi audio files and high-end streaming apps that are maybe not so regularly utilized by the average person, but that the above average music lover or audiophile will fully appreciate. So a few last things to note. In addition to packing in the dual DAC, that inline control panel also houses a number of button controls you can utilize, including volume adjustments, playback controls, and a dedicated function button, which switches the Xenos between the various sound profiles you might have saved within the Hybe Music app. This little controller is really straightforward. The buttons are tactile, they're responsive, Sometimes it's just nice to have this old school setup as opposed to trying to tap and touch some tiny little mystery area on those wireless earbuds. And also inside here is a high sensitivity MEMS microphone for phone calls and audio recording. That's what you're hearing right now, and I think it sounds pretty good too. And one other thing I really like, the Xenos incorporate a silver-plated hybrid braid cable. It's like thicker and more firm than those nylon cables you might already be used to using. hy says that the cable is manufactured with these elements in particular to limit external interference and preserve the sound, but I just like the fact that the cable is thick, it's sturdy, it feels rugged, it's rigid. It's like it's going to last if I wrap it up and toss it in a bag or constantly twist and untie it. It's more like a rope than an earbud cable, and it's a particular element to these that I fully appreciate. The new hy Digital Xenos are honestly a great pair of IEMs that I think are geared towards both the audiophiles and music lovers of the world, the folks who will fully embrace the new dynamic hardware and hi-fi audio that these are truly intended for, and those of us who just kind of want a great, reliable pair of wired earbuds from time to time. Because let's be honest, there was nothing wrong with plugging in earbuds to begin with. These companies just really want to sell you some overpriced wireless earbuds to pair up with your already overpriced smartphone. These though, for like a hundred bucks, are pretty great. And they might just be part of that wired earbud revolution that feels like it's sort of happening. But what do you guys think of these hy Digital Xenos in-ear monitors? Would you go back to rocking some wired earbuds? earbuds? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, of course. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.